Hey everyone, how are you doing? Benjamin here. In this video, I'm going to explain to you how you can use Duotone the right way inside of Canva. And just in case you don't even know what Duotone is, don't worry, I'll explain it to you. The first thing we need to do is, if you are new to this channel, if this is the first thing you see my face, the subscribe button is all yours to smash because we want to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year. So join us by hitting on the subscribe button. And just in case you're on the free version of Canva, please, there's a special link I have in the description box below that will help you upgrade to Canva Pro for free okay so let's dive straight into the video and let me explain what duotone is and how you can apply it the right way inside of canva anyway so we have this image over here but before we start applying duotone duotone is simply a photo effect that helps you to apply two colors on a photo okay and these colors usually target two main areas the highlight and the shadows highlights representing the brighter part of the images and shadows representing the darker part of the image so once you have this in mind let's dive into duotone and let's see how to get it done okay so to apply duotone we are first of all going to make sure our image is selected i have my mouth open because i'll so happy about nothing okay and i will just head on to edit for two we should come into effect and you should see shadows auto focus and blur but once you smash on this you should see dual tone okay so we click on it and canva has generated some samples for you to use but we are going to go into custom dual tone okay so highlight you can see it's the gray and the gray areas have taken that and the black is targeting the darker part okay so we want to change this to a red okay which means that it's always best to use a lighter color for the brighter part of your images okay so even if it's red i'd want the lighter red to target the lighter parts of the image and the shadows will take maybe a darker red so you can see how it's looking very interesting or you can take another color which can be maybe purple you know will target the darker part of the image you can see what we have at the moment now let's try on another image okay so with an image uh, i'm thinking that hey let's check <laughs> i was just joking it's all for the content okay so we are going to take this image for example okay and i'll increase the size make sure it's fitting well back into edit photo come here into dual tone now the lighter part okay like i said the highlight i get the lighter part of the image so i can change this to any color of my choice so red or any color you can see how beautiful this is looking okay so i can keep it to green like spotify you know they usually go with i think um, green and um, sorry green and black okay yeah green and black just like spotify and you can see how beautiful this is looking all with door tone now let's try with a third sample okay so the third sample we are going to choose this image which is so colorful all right no what did i just do okay so let me just make it bigger okay bigger than big okay so let's come here into dwarton again then custom dual tone and we can go with another color okay so the highlight sometimes you just need to do this just to understand which part of the images are going to be targeted okay so we can choose this and we can come here and choose maybe a red you can see the red is targeting the darker part of the image or if we go black this is how it's looking all right yeah or maybe just add a little bit of red into the image and you know we can still adjust this to any color at all okay but i feel you know when the color is brighter it makes the dual tone look better so what you need to take away from this is that when you are using dual tone highlights always target the lighter part of the image so it's always good to have a lighter color or a less saturated color for the highlights and the shadows can take you know a concentrated color or you know a very deep color or a darker color so make sure you always have this in mind when you are using dual tone i hope you found this helpful if you did smash the like button share this video with a canva friend the name is benjamin always remember there is no limit to creativity and i should see you in my next video.